The Cates Library was named after the late Bennett Cates. He was instrumental in the founding of the University of Maine at Augusta. The library contains books, periodicals, and resources that can be accessed through a collection of campus and statewide libraries. It also serves as a nice place to study independently or in small, quiet study groups. Let's go look together. The main level of the Cates Library provides students with an open area to come together and work collectively. It also houses the Maine Women's Hall of Fame in our circulation desk, where the friendly staff and student workers can assist students with access to resources as well as research support. Library hours include evenings and weekends. The upper level of Cates is home to our computer labs, writing center, information and library science program, and our innovative collaboratory. The collaboratory lets students engage in hands-on learning through virtual reality, 3D printer tools, and more. The upper level also provides students with private and quiet study space. The lower level of Cates contains ITV classroom and broadcast facilities, as well as the music and sonic arts studio. UMA's contemporary and popular music program is one of the premier programs offered in New England. With progressive program content, multi-stylistic approaches, and a state-of-the-art facility, students can take advantage of our program in person or online. Students can focus on performance, audio, composition, sonic arts, or a mixture of everything. Regardless of your interest, UMA Music is music your way. Since our founding in 1965, when a simple welcome veterans sign encouraged Vietnam era veterans to enroll, we have continued a rich tradition of supporting military experienced students. In 2017, UMA was able to renovate existing space on campus to provide a state of the art veteran academic center located in the lower level of Cates. UMA has been recognized throughout the years as a top military friendly school with various national organizations and with a dedicated director of military and veteran services and certifying officials, there are a lot of resources available for veterans and active duty members. The Clark Center is home to the Holocaust and Human Rights Center of Maine. The center was named after Michael Clark, a Jewish survivor of the Nazi occupation in France during World War II. He escaped and eventually found his way to Maine where he became a successful businessman. In partnership with UMA, the center's purpose is to educate the public as well as the UMA community about topics related to human rights issues. Featuring the exhibit, Were the House Still Standing, the Holocaust and Human Rights Center holds public programming, student and community exhibits, along with UMA classrooms. For students who are interested, UMA even has a Holocaust, Genocide, and Human Rights Study minor. 